Hello and welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, this video is a speed paint of a recent art study that I did. I recently had wanted to start getting back into doing art studies because they're a great thing for artists to do. They help us learn about colors, learn about form, and we can deepen our understanding of the real world. And then we can later on apply them to stylization however we choose. Also, studies can help us learn where to add details and what can be and what can be left open to interpretation and put minimal detail in but it can still be told what it was just to get the idea across anyway so I started with the sketch and I have the reference photo that I'm studying in the sub view at first I kept the canvas small because I wanted a kind of one-to-one -one ratio between the reference photo and my canvas just so I could more easily get the proportions correct starting off because I wanted the sketch to have a good foundation for the rest of the study. For this study, I am using Clip Studio Paint. For me, it's easier to do a more painterly style on Clip Studio versus on the iPad with Procreate. And I want to use Clip Studio Paint way more often because I paid for it, so I should use it. Another reason is because I recently got a tour box that needs to be put to use. So I want to familiarize myself with it and familiarize myself with Clip Studio. I wasn't sure if I would like the tour box or if it would really mesh well with me because I was worried that it would be too much to think about with the remote and then the drawing itself. And what I think is that it's definitely not necessary for doing digital art, but it did speed up my workflow a lot. Since I'm so unfamiliar with Clip Studio Pay, I always kind of have to search for the functions that I need and it would take up a big chunk of my total workflow time. But with the tour box it's much faster now and I'm kind of used to using a lot of shortcuts because on Procreate most of the stuff is hidden so certain things uh, require a shortcut and you kind of just get used to it. So I believe the tour box was a good investment. I also think it's super cool because you can make your own presets and program the different buttons to do what you specifically want and what works for you. So I made my own and I matched the buttons that made sense to me with functions that I use the most. So things like rotating the canvas, undo, redo, and zooming in and out. And I was able to choose which buttons I wanted to do which. So a little bit about the reference. I chose this reference from Pinterest mostly for the lighting and I really wanted to color the hair, which this was kind of a mistake, but I'll get to that later on. I liked how the lighting made the skin look super bright and reflective and hydrated and it's just a simple headshot which I'm comfortable doing because I haven't done an art study in a long time. I didn't want to do anything that was too complicated or was more difficult for me to do just so I can kind of get into the flow of it. And for the drawing, I tried out a few different brushes but I mostly stuck to I think about three or four that I actually used. And it took some getting used to because obviously the brushes on Clip Studio are not the same as using the iPad and the stylus is a little bit different so you kind of have to get used to that. And I typically use a different method depending on what I'm using to draw. And I usually don't do any rendering or painting over the sketch or line art but for this I did do so. I wanted it to be more realistic. And for some reason, it's hard for me to draw comfortably when I'm using the digital monitor or digital tablet. I feel like my line confidence is much lower when I'm using the digital tablet. So it's easier for me to do a more painterly style. But I don't mind because it helps me learn how to do both styles, more of a line art and staying within the lines and also learning to paint and render. And again, because it's hard for me to draw comfortably on the tablet, I typically have to go over what I drew before to fix things, so it also comes to handy. And I think it's pretty fun to draw with the painting over method. One thing I'm not a big fan of in this drawing is the colors. My biggest disappointment with this was the color difference between the monitor and then my computer and then my phone. The digital drawing tablet that I have is the XP Pen Artist 12 Second Generation. 
and I've changed the color temperature so many times to try and match it up to like Apple's standard color temperature because I like the colors on my iPad and my computer is a little bit too cool tone and light so I try to match it up to the iPad but I have not found the right color temperature or color combination that'll match it well. So when I finished the drawing and I put it on my phone, it looked super yellow. On the computer monitor, it looked better, but that's because my computer monitor is a little bit more blue tone and lighter. And I still need to adjust the XP Pen tablet color temperature so I can better match it. I'm not giving up yet because I really want to use the drawing tablet a lot more. If any of you have the same drawing tablet and you've found a color temperature combination that matches closely, feel free to let me know and I'll try it out. And hopefully it'll be better than anything that I've come up with. Something specifically about this piece that was difficult for me was the nose. I kind of struggled with the angle. I could visualize it in my head, but it didn't really transfer when I went to draw it on the canvas. Eventually, I got it to where I wanted to. I think my main issue wasn't really with the sketching of the nose, but the coloring of it. Because when I colored it, it kind of, it made me kind of blank on the form of the nose. So I had difficulty. I'm still not super happy with the colors of the nose. I think there's a little bit too much orange instead of red. But that's what the point of these studies is, to make mistakes and then learn from them and then improve on the next one. So for the next study, I'll make sure to use better colors and I'll keep this in mind. I didn't do much with the background. I wasn't really looking to study backgrounds right now because if I put a little bit something, even in the reference photo, there isn't much of a background shown. I did a few little forms in the back that kind of resembled the reference photo. The last thing that I did was the hair and I left it for last because I was the most excited to do the hair. I think probably rendering the face and rendering hair are my two favorite parts of a drawing but I always render the face first because I feel like once you get the face done everything starts to come together plus I like to start off and end a drawing with things that I like but doing the hair last was a mistake because the hair gave me some of the most trouble out of everything when I had done the base coloring the shape was kind of simplified from what the actual reference had so when I went to color it or render it, I couldn't really make sense between what I had blocked in with color versus what I was seeing in the reference. The shapes were a little bit different and it kind of, and it basically wasn't matching up in my head. So I redid the rendering like twice and I changed the brush that I used at least three times because it wasn't giving me the effect that I wanted. But in the end, it all came together. I'm still experimenting with brushes and things like that. So hopefully in the future, doing the hair will become easier. I'm a little bit scared to edit brushes that I already have because I don't want to mess them up, but I do plan on learning eventually. So here's how the drawing turned out. I really like it even though I had those small problems that I talked about before. There's definitely things that I would change and things that I could improve on. But for the first study in a while, I think it came out looking great. I hope you all enjoyed this speed paint and the commentary. And if you're interested in seeing more studies and more digital paintings, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more videos to come. 
I hope wherever you are, you are having a great day or night, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!